Hello everyone, welcome. This is going to be my completed pages for May 2022. Now I only have eight completed pages, which is not a whole bunch for me, but I am hoping to do a little better in June. Um, I still got a couple color alongs done on the channel, which is good, but as far as completed pages, I just was not with it this month. <laughs> Um, it turned out to be a way busier month that got away from me, especially the end of it. So I do have a couple whips, not very many, but a couple that I would like to share. And then we will jump into the completed ones. So let me move some stuff here. So first off, this is one of my favorite books, even though I haven't tackled anything in it. I have a few of these books I purchased from Amazon Japan. Um, so I kind of have been bouncing around in them, but this is Art of Disney Happiness Coloring Book. I do not know the artist's name because other than this right here, everything is in a different language. But this is what it looks like, primary ink. Um, it says Art of Disney Happiness Coloring Lesson Book. So it has the nice colored images in the front. And then I tackled this one. So I did not get far at all. This was supposed to be for the Disney prompt for Jamie's Coloring Love, but sorry, Jamie, just didn't make it. I want to go slow and take my time. I didn't want to rush it. I want these guys to be very accurate when I color them. So I've been looking up their colors, making sure they um, look right. My grass is not done either, so it looks a little rough still, but I'm hoping it will come together when it's all done. This is going to be a nice gold frame kind of thing. So yeah, there is my whip. This is just Prismacolor so far. I haven't added any gel pen, any black pen, nothing yet. It's very bare, very plain. But yeah, I am excited. I am going to still work on it. I just didn't want to try to rush it and get it done and ruin it. So there is that one. There is my Art of Disney Happiness book. The next one was supposed to be for Mother's Day and I didn't finish it either. So this is Coloring Heaven Little Cutie Special by Daria Kakursoy, I think is how you say it. Um, I tackled this one. So they do have a base of the Arctic skin colors down and then I went over with pencil. Um, the rest is all Prismacolor of course. I do plan on still finishing it but again my mom has a birthday in June so maybe I will finish it for her birthday instead of Mother's Day. But either way it should should be a done piece. I think the only part that stumped me a little bit was the leaves coming out of her. So I don't know if I want to do her like green, like she's a flower. So there's a flower there. Or if I want to do her like pink. I haven't decided yet. But yes. Another very cute book. Has all different types of drawings in there. From grayscale to line art. All that good stuff. This book is a little odd, and I know this is not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but for some reason, I'm drawn to it. And I think because it's the odd factor, but it's not way out there odd. Um, so this is Rick St. Dennis, and this is the world of Rick St. Dennis. So this has 25 images to color. This is 2015. So his work is way older. I'm not even sure if it's still for sale. I didn't look it up on Amazon. Um, he does have a Facebook group. And all this, but again, if they are still up and running, I'm not sure. He does have a few other books as well. Oh, other books right here. So he's got Day of the Dead, which is probably way over my creep factor. But Alice, he has an Alice one, which is really cool, which is a purse size book. So little rhinestones. So I liked this one. And this one is just kind of a mix of all of them. I'm tackling this one. So these are the Burlesque Fence Backstage 2004. So you can kind of pick up the theme I'm going on here. This girl was Arteza and then I switched to Prisma just because Arteza didn't have the blues and purples I wanted to tackle my page in. So I'm going to stick with these three colors throughout the page. So she'll probably have a blue, purple, pink background behind them kind of look like stage lights and things. Um, 
And then these little jewels, I'm going to add them on with the jewels from like Dollar Tree, the little sequins and things. I don't know if I have a set out to show. So Dollar Tree has all kinds of little embellishments. See, one second here. So Dollar Tree has these, which I find super fun to play with. These are called Starburst Gem Stickers by Crafter Square. So you get one set of those. And then they also have like these. They have a ton of options, but. And so I think what I'm going to do is I have different sizes of these teardrop ones. So I'm going to actually bedazzle these burlesque fence here. So I'm very excited for that. Again, I started it late in the month, so I knew it was a shot. I wasn't going to finish it, but um, with all, there's been a lot of AI and controversy and things going around. So I haven't been on Amazon a whole lot to buy books. And so instead I've been book shopping off my own bookshelf and I was like, Hey, this book, um, this is the page I wanted to do since I've bought the book. So it's about time I tackle it. Yeah, they're a little rough looking now. Again, I colored over the jewels because I plan on bejeweling them anyway. So I was like, you know, I'm not going to take the time to go around all that when I'm just going to pop right over them anyway. So yeah, there is my world of Rick, Rick St. Dennis elephants. Oh, one more set of jewels to put away. Okay, next I did Lulu Mayo, a million sloths. This was for Jamie's birthday over at Jamie's Coloring Love. So she had a birthday the last couple days. Um, so I did this one. Now I am not a Lulu Mayo fan. I am a Lulu Mayo fan. I love to, I like her books. They're cute and I like to see other people color in her books. I struggle in her books and I don't know why, but I did one for Jamie. So the background here is washi tape. So I laid down strips and strips of washi tape. You can kind of see where they're coming up here on the edge. And then I cut around all of this. So it does have a nice effect if you have the right washi tape where you can't see that it's layered like mine is. Um, but you do have to have the patience to cut around all of the tiny stuff. And you don't want to use super sticky washi tape or when you go to pull it up it might rip your paper. I also added these cute little stickers down here from Dollar Tree. Um, I've been neglecting my embellishing stash and things, so I'm trying to get back to that a little bit because that is what I enjoy. Um, these shinies are the Ohuhu glitter markers, and they are so shiny. I just love them. So much glitter packed into one little marker. I really wish they showed up better in pictures, too. And then this shine right here is the Deco Color Premium. These are oil-based opaque metallic paint marker. So if we look at the other side, there's a tiny bit of shadowing. I was not worried about that at all. Um, so just be aware of that they also have a super strong odor. My desk literally sits right in front of a window. Like if it rained, I would get wet. So odor is not a trouble for me, but that is something to be aware of if you look into those. So yeah. There is my Lulu Mayo page. So thank you, Jamie, for pushing me to tackle another Lulu Mayo and happy birthday to you. So, um, what do I have going on here? Okay, this is Tanya Wilhelm, the dog designs. So there are a couple videos up on this. Um, she kindly donated an image for me to be able to show a background on. And then we kind of just quickly colored the rest, how to give the dog a little bit of a fur look if you're not wanting to go full-blown realistic. Um, but you still want a little bit of fur look. We talked about the sun, the sunset. And yeah, so there are two parts up for that. It turned out really well. This is Prismacolors. So happy with that. She also donated another image this month. So if you are interested in my Facebook group, we are having a coloring contest where she will pick the winner with this image here. So you get to pick one of her books or three of her Etsy sets. And yeah, these are Cavaliers. So they're very cute. Very cute, very cute. So thank you to Tanya for that. There are her two books to set out of the way. Next is Little Mermaid Friends. So this is Teresa Goodrich. This is her older book. This is Dover Coloring. This is not Creative Haven. This book came out in 2000, 
2018. Yes, copyright 2018. Um, so we tackled this image. This image is also a freebie in her Facebook group, Teresa Goodridge Adult Coloring. And you just go to albums and look for the book. She does have a mermaid folder. This is not in the mermaid freebies. This is in the book freebies itself. This book was also only like a couple dollars, three or four dollars on Amazon, I believe. So um, these are the jewels. And this is kind of what made me, when I seen those elephants, I was like, oh, hey, this, this was fun to me. So now I want to decorate these elephants like this as well. So there's our little treasure chest. Again, that silver is that paint marker. Prisma colors. The background is alcohol marker, so this is very much a mixed media page. Um, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. We worked on blending markers in the first part of the tutorial. So yeah, I think she turned out well. Very shiny. And again, the Ohuhu glitter markers. So yeah, very fun. So I'm going to stick that back in there that page I did forever ago. I didn't even date it. I wasn't even a dater when I did that. When I very first started coloring, I followed a tutorial of somebody's. So that was like 2017 probably. Holy moly. Okay, Mythographic Paradise. This was Mythographic of the Month. So if you are following along, doing the same book, or even just enjoying, this is Mythographic of the Month Club for May. If you are joining in for June, which I hope to see lots of beautiful pages, we are doing Dream Garden. Don't have a page where I would show you. Still deciding on a page, but that is the book for sure. So back to Mythographic Paradise. This is my favoritest book ever. This is the favorite page I've done out of it. Not the page I did this month, but I have tackled a few out of here. This one I started and then for some reason I just left the clouds that bug me now. Maybe I did it on purpose, but this is this month's page. And so we have Prismacolors and then under this shiny blue we have one single Sharpie marker, one light blue Sharpie marker. And then we have the Macron Solid Shimmer Solid Watercolor. And I used this blue. So these are off Timu. I actually seen these. Jamie showed these to me. I don't know if they're on her channel. But she showed me hers. And then I put mine in the cart. And they were accidentally purchased. So now they're mine. <laughs> um, but I am happy. They work great. They are very shiny. And they are very worth the $2. And I think $0.38 cents that I paid for them. Or technically my mom did. But. So yeah, the tulips are very pretty. Very happy with how those turned out as well. Honestly, I could have lived without these streams going through the page, but that's okay. It gave me a reason to try something fun. Um, I am probably going to, you can see the alcohol marker streamers on this side. I am probably going to border this with some kind of washi tape, because if you know me, I love my washi tape borders, but... You need to find one that matches my page very well. But yeah, if you can, if you can tell, I love, I love my washi tape borders in these books. <laughs> um, I might just do an actually nice light blue, maybe like this blue right here would be perfect. So yeah, there is that one, and there is three parts up if you would like to follow along or just check it out if you're interested in the tulips. It is the first part, and that is Mythographic Paradise. Next is a grayscale image. I do not do these very often, but every once in a while, um, I tackle one. So this is a very cool dragon looking guy. He is Friendly Dragons from Wanda Fontenot or Color My Light. She's a grayscale compiler. Um, but yeah, they are, he's all Prismacolor. So there is no, and I did use Gamsol. So I don't know if you know that, but you can use Gamsol on grayscale and it's like fantastic so yeah there is my little dragon guy very fun I am not a huge grayscale fan though I'm I am a fan but I don't color it very often 50 spring miniatures so this one is not my favorite either I need to go back and fix my red flowers I love everything but my red flowers but here is my hello spring page so this is actually eyeshadow 
Again, I don't use eyeshadow very often, but I do have this box of crayons set that I bought from Walmart for five bucks. And these things are so bright. Um, so those are my go-tos. So that is what this bright yellow is, just because I feel like this is almost a little brighter than the pastels. These are the Dollar Tree uh, glitter gel pens. So they don't have a name. They're just Dollar Tree. They look like this and they last forever. Absolutely favorite right after the flare gel pens. So yeah, there's my Hello Spring page. Um, that is the only one I have tackled in here. So definitely need to work on that one as well. Birds in the Forest. This is the last one I finished this month. Um, this is Denise Clett. This is her newest book out. If you followed or watched when I did the book flip, I told you the bear pages were my favorite. These, this guy. And I really hope she comes out with a book about bears. That would be exciting to me. So I did this one. And I think he turned out pretty good. There were a couple of spots I struggled with. These little birdies here. But other than that, I did good. I went black bear because I kind of had a feeling not a lot of people would go black bear. Didn't want him to blend in with my brown. And I have a lot of brown up here as well. So yeah, I went black bear. But I feel like he turned out pretty good. I'm happy with him very cute book very cute page this is all prismacolors uh, white acrylic paint for some things gel pen to put in some shines on the water I really want to be this bear just chilling and fishing and I forgot some leaves right there so I have to go back and finish that in oops but other than that other than the leaves I forgot that maybe nobody would have noticed <laughs> he is done so yeah it's my first one out of her book definitely would like to tackle another not sure which yet, but that is Birds in the Forest by Denise Clett. So she also has the gnomes in the neighborhood, the mermaids, the fairies. All that. And then last but not least, we have Fantastic Floral Wreaths. Now in the beginning, this was my book to finish in a year. And then I broke my foot in February and didn't color for all of March, basically. And now I'm so far behind that I'm not going to be able to play catch up. So I had one done which turned out great. And now I have this one and I'm so happy with it. And this was kind of my deciding factor to not struggle and try to finish this book in a year. It is so detailed and so busy and it is so pretty, such beautiful images that I don't want to rush it and ruin it and have pages I hate just to have a done book. Um, you will also see I taped it because the last time I tried to do a Creative Haven book for a year, it fell apart. And it was a disaster and I had to put it in a whole different folder by the end of the year. So I'm trying to keep this one intact. I really want a book front to back in the cover finished. Um, but this might be a two-year project. But either way, this is marker base. And I do need to put a paper behind it in case I have some yellowing or anything. But you can see all the marker I did um, with Prismacolor over the top. So that is why my blue flowers look so bright, because they have a marker base under them. So does this wheel. Yeah, I am very happy with how it turned out. It is my favorite page of the month. Definitely. Took me all month, so it better be. And yeah, so I am going to tackle... I'm still going to try to do one a month, but again, I'm not going to try to tackle it all in a year. Yeah, I'm not even halfway and it's June. That would just be way over my capabilities. But yes, this is Fantastic Floral Reese by Jessica Mazurkowitz. Um, if you missed it, just quickly why I see the book here. This is a color along for June. So if you're interested, we are doing a pastel page. But I also had a watermelon tutorial up because someone had asked for it. So this is up and ready to go if you need some help on the melon page. I seen somebody else was doing a color along on that page for June, so I may not color that one for June because I don't want to step on any toes. But so yes, uh, questions, comments, uh, request anything you've seen that you liked. If you need any book clips, anything like that, please let me know. And I hope to see you for June.